doing have you been streaming come on we've, we've talked about this <laughs> you don't have a larynx come on there you go hang out there hello oh. hello everybody welcome back as ever to building blocks where we program Minecraft mods live on camera and tonight we have a fun one because we have previously gone through this entity right here, a patron witch, and that is one of our most uh, aesthetic, I guess would be the phrase, uh, mobs, and we now have to build their, um, ooh, what would be the phrase here, counterparts, which is of course the patron Kirin, so yeah. <laughs> yip coding special, long yip stream, substitute streamer, <laughs> nor just a very sleepy yip. <laughs> oh, very soft, very not not as long as uh, long long yen, but definitely substantially girthier. That has to be said. Huh. But okay, where were we? So let's see, let's boot up Techni as a start. <laughs> Way to usurp long year limb stream. I mean, if he can figure out exactly what and how, then I guess he's welcome. Okay, we always want to make these textures substantially bigger than they actually end up being. to start with, because we need to actually model the thing and then figure out where all the texture parts go. And then let's just start out with a regular... Let's see, you want that by that, so just start out with a regular biped. Valentine collab, <laughs> Long Nyan and Long Yip content. Hmm. I don't know if they're a couple. Let me just bring up a little biped so I actually have a reference here. Uh, let's see. Start with the left leg, that's a decent point. So let's see, offset, negative two, negative two. And rotation point 1.9 for some strange reason. 12. And we won't worry about where the texture ends up for the moment because this is not sticking around. I think that Karen's probably going to end up being a bit more of a fawn. I contemplated making them more of a uh, centaur. But, in addition to 
the obvious question of if they're a centaur, you should absolutely be able to ride to them, then uh, it's we, we've had enough troubles with the uh, with the whales being rectangular. Imagine doing that with the Kirin as well. Centaurs, the well, horses in general, never being long and not necessarily wide. So yeah. is negative 1.9 which actually means they overlap for some reason because you know, they, they they would need to be two you can see them just kind of like clipping into each other just along there minecraft's models very weird okay the body is 8.24 strictly speaking Teddy does actually have like startups for this but let's not worry about that Because they're not fully too out, you can just make that part out. Also, uh, the cosmetic layers from uh, for players and such from their skin are not actually factored into this model. They're separately rendered things that just clone orientations and such. It's very strange. I don't know why they do that. Yes, for our purposes, let's make this a bit sensible at least. Build a Kirin. It's like build a bear, except uh, a lot more horns. <laughs> it's like build a bear, but a lot more horny. <laughs> Why are you booing me? I'm right. <laughs> Let's see. Minus one, minus two, minus two. Wait, that's in the wrong section. I am a fool. Uh, five two zero. There. Build a Kirin is build a bear but with lightning and magic crimes. <laughs> Looks like your dear build a bear called Kirin. Hmm. Yep, it sure do be like that sometimes. Uh, where's right arm? There's right arm. Predictably, 4, 12, 4 again, but minus 3. Minus 2. Minus 2. And positions negative 5 and 2. Which actually means that the rotation point for the arm is uh, closer to like the in point of the shoulder. You would think, given it being Minecraft, that it would be located just dead middle of the shoulder, but nope, it's actually there. Which is decently like sensible, actually, but... You know, in a way that you wouldn't necessarily generally give Minecraft credit for. <laughs> okay. So that's... Be behold, a man. Right there. Ah, this music seems a tad on the loud side to me. Just gonna dial that back down a bit. Okay. So, let's grab some reference images, shall we? Okay. So, I do like the, uh, can I uh, explore best Cure Dave art on, on DeviantArt? I doubt that somehow. Oh, that's an old cute one. Okay. So yeah, here's here's what I guess we'd call uh, the quintessential elements. We've got the lightning, we've got the horns, we've got the mutton chops, that kind of thing. I have a notepad file around here for some of this. Don't worry about that. Uh, there. There we are. So, not gonna go with the torque, but the canid legs were ending in hooves. Definitely a thing we want to do. We can mostly borrow code directly from kobolds for that. Uh, kobolds, maybe just borrow that from the wargs, or the wargs, I should say, as well. Uh, a large tail with a fluffy tip. This one has, like, a bident at the end, which is an interesting choice, but 
I think I think I prefer fluffy tipped like that. That's a lot more uh, in keeping with the Keelin or the Kirin as uh, we know them. Horns and antlers combined definitely are a recurring feature. We definitely want to keep those. I kind of want to keep them looking like human skin tone, that kind of thing, uh, rather than the, the the common thing of just like black and whatnot, black skinned. Um, so it's it's just just that's just a personal choice, a personal taste kind of thing. Like yeah, I I prefer that personally. Makes it seem like they're a little bit more. It it it, it, hmm, it makes them seem a little bit closer to human and therefore a bit more uh, easy to like interact with. And it also keeps them in line with the witch, of course, which we've also made to be uh, very much like human presenting or human appearing, I guess I should say. But yeah, so we've got plenty, plenty of ideas. I do think we will give them the the kind of like goat nose, though the the broad with the little line down the middle. That's that's definitely a thing that we can do. But yeah, there's there's plenty of art that we can use here for reference and inspiration. Various things. Definitely a strong emphasis on eyes, I feel. But maybe not in the fashion that uh, Dave did in their series way back when, of just adding more to this person. <laughs> I think having eyes just, like, be a recurring motif for them should give the implication that they're an, uh, an observer, a watcher, a guardian, that kind of sensation. Which they are. It's why when you, uh, complete their pact, assuming, assuming, uh, the defaults have been used, um, lightlings start protecting the forests. So, yep, there's, let's, uh, change this to... Just get rid of that. Uh, Canid legs, ref, walk, hind legs. Oops. Yeah. So more, more like a fawn, I guess, than a centaur. Oh no! I'm stuck in an animation loop. Help. Working on drawing of Kieran Dave and the Witch's anatomical practice, debating sharing it in your Discord server when it's done. Feel free! Dave is in that Discord, I'm sure they'd appreciate it. Okay. So that's our start. Now we'll get rid of the legs straight off the bat because we're not going to be using these legs, and modeling the legs of the uh, warg is going to be a whole other thing here. So, let's see. Leg rear. There you are. Let's start with the left ones. Which is its, en which is its own entire model file. Like, fun fact. Um, the the leg the rear legs of the warg are specifically animated and as such because uh, they have digitigrade legs and digitigrade legs are really hard to make look good with Minecraft coding um, so we actually animate them so the further forward they are the more compressed they are or the further they are from like the the base point the further the more compressed they are um, and that means that they don't, they, that means that they don't end just just like kicking straight forwards every single time, which is fine enough for just single cube legs, but work, look, looks terrible on uh, on just just on just like the uh, the complicated legs. Uh, it's partially why the uh, like the 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 Uber Virgin has a lot of animation to their legs, but there's a reason that the Uber Virgin doesn't do the whole like walking animation. But anyways, let's see what we can do for this. So there's an upper, a lower, and a midpoint, which is the sort of bridge between the two. And there's also a thigh element. So there's gonna be, gonna be a fair bit here. But let's see what I can do. So let's see, thigh, 
left, we'll call that. And that is... Minus 1.5, minus 6, minus 2, 3, 7, 3. Oh, I forgot these are also rotating like that. Hmm. I feel like they were thicker than that, or am I misremembering things somehow? Let's let's boot this. Let's boot this up and actually have a look at the uh, works for a hot second. Oh, because that didn't take, that's why. <laughs> Kirin had their leg the rights removed. Missed leg day, no leg Kirin. Oh yeah. Wow, my camera is rosy today. Is my camera up to today? Let's have a look. Yeah. Bad and naughty cameras get their uh, get their white balance turned off. with today's outfit? Oh, good to know. I looked at, like, uh, a quick screenshot from, like, my last stream, and I realized this is a very close outfit, so I just quickly, so I quickly, like, dashed and got this, uh, shirt to put on top. Have ourselves a merry comparison, shall we? Okay, so there's the hind legs of the warg, and I think we can. Yeah, we can probably do a decent job of using those, but on hind on on second glimpse, it might not work too well, because we basically just be using these two blocks here rather than all three of them. So, hmm. Also, a reminder: these are these are a mount. You can in fact ride the works. <laughs> let's let's bring in a. Uh... A cobalt as well, for comparison. Anything you don't have to recode, generally good. Okay, I think cobalts are actually closer to what I had in mind. Cobalts don't have animation, so we might have to build that in. But we have already built it in before for that, so yeah. I think, like, it's interesting that we have multiple types of digi-degrade legs, like, there's, one, there's, a different, there's a whole different version that's basically hooves over here, but we don't necessarily want to be doing an identical thing at, um, to <laughs> the changelings with our uh, Kirin. Granted, it will be a different texture, so there's that. Maybe I do just, like, use the same code, honestly. We've got it right here. I don't recall how... The changing look when they walk, though. Oh, I'm gonna test that, I guess. Uh, it's that one. Oh, changing chicken. I still, I still haven't put in a name for that. Hm. Okay, have a wonder for me. Uh, 
Okay, there is no animation there. Okay, right, apologies for this. Do I have? Yes, I do. Okay, this will be swift. Okay, so yeah, there's no animation to the changeling or kobold legs. There is to the wargs. So we'll probably try and draw a midpoint between those. Okay, so that means I need to open up the uh, the kobold or the changeling code. So let's see. There's your legs. Oh boy. A lot going on here. But I think we can plug this in. Okay, so. Rotation point is 2.4, 12, and 0. Sizing of the thigh is 439. Like the wire, because this is not rotated. Uh, minus 2, minus 2, it's 6.5. And it is an angle of 35 degrees. There. Okay. And then we have the bridge, which is more specifically analogous to the uh, the lower leg, like the shin, I guess. Uh, I think I've actually in in this code I've actually referred to it as the ankle, but that's not accurate quite. Uh, and that is negative thirty. Interesting that that's not aligned there. Well, let's add the foot and see what that does. Two, two, and eight. There is a headwear layer or a cosmetic layer on the foot because that's the where the changings have their little vines. Which I could maybe wonder if I could wonder if I could make those turn off when they're not actually standing on creep. That could be a nice little indicator, couldn't it? Hmm. That might be getting a bit uh, bit far ahead of us though. Okay, and uh, this is a seventy degrees. And the offset is a minus one, 3.5, negative 11.75. Very discreet. Okay, it looks a little exploded there. Let me have a look through this. Yeah, I'm not saying any change to rotation point. That's interesting. Has it been so long since I've done this that I genuinely uh, don't quite remember? the offset on this part, haven't I? Let's see, offset on the ankle is... negative 1.5, 3.5, and negative 2. There we go, that's what I had wrong. And break Kieran's kneecaps. Uh, 
Might have already been done. Okay, so there we have the changeling leg. Now, we can see here the offsets put these things way away from where they should actually be. We are going to want to actually relocate them, so if we can actually make it compress as they uh, swing their legs forwards like the works. But uh, for the moment, for the hot minute, that's fine. Let's just replicate that with the right leg. I should stress that when we get this model actually imported, what we're going to find is that we don't have a texture. That's to be expected. Don't be dreadfully alarmed when that happens. Negative 2.4 and 12. Oop, not 112. 12. Yeah, I think we wanna we wanna have thicker legs. Especially on the thighs. For the Karen. Give them a bit more bulk there. Maybe some thicker, like, bones there as well. Maybe not quite that thick. <laughs> that as a, as a look. And maybe we'll shift them a little forward as well. That might take them a little off balance, though. Okay, let's get the rest of this in. When you go to build a bear and ask to fill the teddy to the bursting point. <laughs> Is that a thing you can do? We don't really have build a bear here in the UK. It's not like a major thing. So how's everybody's week been so far? All doing okay? of 70 degrees there.
There we go. Bonus points, we can theoretically reuse parts of this model later down the road when we actually make fawns. Today is your mother's birthday? Ooh, rats. I was going on with my camera. It's doing a very big weirdness. I wonder if it's, try I wonder if it's fighting trying to get uh, Long Long Yip into focus. Uh, you went to a build bear once and asked them if they ever had if they had ever been asked to fill a bear more than it could be and something one of their Pikachu filled so much that it ripped apart from the inside. Oof. There's an image. Yeah, my camera's being all weak today. Not sure what's going on with it. Okay. Uh, let's shift these forwards a little bit, compare that. Because right now they're kind of jutting out the back, which... Interesting to have a Kirin with some booty, but I don't think that's what we're going for at this exact moment. It's more like, that's more like what I'm going for, I think. And that, uh, that doesn't do much to put them off balance, actually. The most... the central weight is still very much going down there. It's good. Of course, there's nothing saying that we can't have our Kirin sort of hunched slightly forward. Mm -hmm. Apparently, Kate was only six. Yeah, and they experienced a horror scene. <laughs> Okay, this camera's starting to bug me. <laughs> what exactly are you doing that's making you do all that? No idea, the white the white balance should be fine. Hmm. Very odd. Very odd. Meh. <laughs> Long, long, long yippy looms in the distance. No, they're they're right here. Okay. Uh, do we want to have like a flowy kind of like jacket or coat or whatever you want to call it? Hmm. Like. Everybody likes to have this big long mage's kind of coat, but getting that to bend around the uh, the degenerate legs is going to be a huge, huge problem. Game okay, my stream rights redacted? No, nope. they're just they're just being a stream friend. Hmm. We might be able to manage it. Uh, yeah, let's let's add like coattail, I guess, and see what we can do with that. It's going to need to be wider than the legs, obviously. Trump. I swear this music track just said Trump, and honestly that's a word that's going to be cursed for my entire generation. So we just do that, and then we just don't have anything here or on the interior. We can kind of have ourselves a coat. Let me just uh, lift the arms a bit. Give you a little bit clearer idea of that. It's 
not a bad look, actually. Hmm. Make it deeper. But that's... Yeah, that's maybe too deep. I think that's a good start. Now, we are going to do the antlers and the horns. I don't know that we'll have time to do those tonight, because those are going to be a lot of work. But, uh... We should be able to do those, and I think we'll do them as a separate layer. The reasoning being that if we do them as a separate layer, we can make them specifically glow in the dark, as opposed to the entirety of the Kirin glowing in the dark. So, there's a that. Uh, obviously, when we make the tail, which is probably going to be very similar to how the, the uh, Changeling Queen's uh, tail is modeled, that kind of thing, uh, we'll probably have that come out from underneath. And just sort of be chilling in the background here, being all fluffy and whatnot. Essentially, the Kirin is meant to give you the impression that they're not really hiding anything, but there's still something you're not necessarily fully com fully comprehending. They're meant, to, they're meant to look like a powerful like uh, entity, but still nonetheless one you could potentially have like lunch with, that kind of thing. Not somebody you want to get onto, like, the bad side of by any means, but not necessarily someone that's going to, like, deliberately take advantage of you. Yeah, this is a good- this is a good start, I think. So let's, uh, see what we can do actually start getting that into the game. It's complaining right now because that doesn't exist. Hey Dusty, how are you doing? Just leave most of this blank for the moment. We will get to the uh, nitty gritty later. Right now, we're just working on aesthetics, and most of it will be just be reused code from the witch, anyways. Okay. Now I need a renderer. many little things and of course our one for the Kirin is going to be a lot easier than this. Uh, 
Conditional air is not currently a thing that we need to worry about. Do render. Should be anything going there. Main model should be a problem. Texture will need. Uh, the callback, I do want it to be a little bit taller than a player. Like, this right now is player scale. We want this to be taller, which in theory is the weird way that players actually work. Uh, we actually already are a little bit taller. <laughs> Players are slightly downscaled in a way that basically nothing else is. I don't know why. Okay. So the witch changes shape a lot. Because they're, the they're, the, they're the patron god, essentially, of changelings. But, uh... The Kirin is kind of the opposite. The Kirin has... The Kirin has probably had the exact same appearance for literal millennia. Uh, oh, yes, it's just, Yeah, I see you. Kieran is very reliable, I guess would be the phrase. Okay, and now we can actually start building our model. Boomer Kieran confirmed. Yes, as in the big bang. <laughs> Which I guess means the Kieran, the Kieran is more of a banger than a boomer. <laughs> yeah, the Kieran is ancient. <laughs> and powerful, but still fairly friendly. Kieran Hogg gives five seconds of healing. <laughs> Just return null there for the time being, because that is not going to be where this goes. Uh, but I can make this a little bit round ahead. Okay, so right now it should just resemble 100% just just a slightly taller player. But very quickly, it's not going to look like that anymore. Oh yeah, fun fact for those of you enjoying this outfit today, uh, this top is actually like the same as the white top I was wearing like uh, on like Saturday, except that it's just in black. Because it's really freaking comfy, so <laughs> I just bought another one in a different color. Which I think is valid, personally. Where did I get it from? Literally, I got it from Sainsbury's. <laughs> 
because Sainsbury's is basically the only place I can get clothing right now that will not involve potentially dying of COVID-19. The downside being, of course, that Sainsbury's doesn't exactly have a change room to test, like, to test things out size-wise. But, uh, turns out their medium works quite nicely. Okay. Right. I don't think I... Blup, blup, blup. Yeah. So there we have it. There's the beginnings. The very, very humble beginnings of our, uh, of our Kirin. So now we need to give. Now, now we need to change out the legs and add our coat and such. Let's see how that goes. Behold, a man. Yes. do is make this and then upscale it slightly. Mm. We'll keep it as is for the time being at least. It'd be interesting to have it be an odd number so they can actually have like a fully mirrored design with a, with a line down the middle. That'd be nice. So there's that. Now onto the legs, the chunky, chunky legs. continue this in about 10 minutes. See you then, everybody. Enjoy your break. Thank you. 
Welcome back everybody to Build and Lux, and we are once again continuing to work on our model of the Kirin patron, which is going to be one of the uh, sort of default available uh, packed patrons that you can get if you're trying to play as a warlock with various oddities installed. And uh, so far we have mostly been working upon the leggies. Uh, so we've got a coattail coming out here at the back that should hopefully, we can, we should be able to animate that a bit. Uh, and then there's the legs, which are going to be hoof-like and are quite a bit chunkier than those of the changelings, as well as the kobolds, but I think look good. And we are, they're, they're currently just static. They're always going to have the same orientations and positions, but we are probably going to be changing that around. And uh, hopefully, hopefully, that'll look quite nice. Then we'll be working on the upper body and such, make sure our curing lifts and whatnot. But we've just been converting the legs into an actual in-game model, so let's see if I've done that successfully. <laughs> As a large fox? Yep, it is a very large fox. It is, in fact, the largest fox that I own. <laughs> Whee. Not as long as uh, Long Long Nyan, so can't quite make it to like. <laughs> can't quite make it to like stand up from the floor, but definitely significantly thicker. Do you mind? Thank you. Okay, let's have a look at how this turned out so far. Here's what appears to be a powerful cubic, but on a very beautiful creature. Yeah. Welcome, Dave. Okay, so, so far, we have hooved leggies. And we have a coattail at the back, which we can probably animate quite nicely. And I'm very... Let's just hop into a spectator here to get a closer look. Very tempted to have the legs actually be fully blown animated so that they're not just a static figure moving at the hip. But yeah, so that's what we've got so far. Next up, we need to work on the arms and the, the torso, I think. We'll leave actual animation to uh, a bit later in the stream at the very least. Love the ominous whale in the distance. Oh yeah, there's a selection of whales over here. <laughs> uh, we got the skeletal whale, We've got the, I think, is that, I think that's the sperm whale, or the Humboldt whale. Uh, that's an orca. Well, not an orca. That might be. Baleen, sperm, and I think Humboldt is what we got here. I have lost, lo I have long lost track. And of course, whale skeleton. Which is not the best of visions, but works for Minecraft at the very least. Okay. So, let's have a look at all of our references. So, the body, like, the torso of Kieran Dave is frequently just sort of a, a torso. I, 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 I don't think there's very much that we need to do with that. The most we could think about doing is adding, like, a layer for this sort of, like, cowling that seems to always turn up. Like, people people like to interpret this as, like, cowl. And I, meh, I'm, I'm given to that. That looks nice. I don't think we'll end up doing wings, but floaty eyes, almost definitely. Yeah, like there's there's a nice take on that. I like I like this cowling. So for that, that that's fairly easy to do. So let's just bend those back in. So to add that to the torso, very simple. We don't actually even need to create another model render for that. We just need to add a, another box to it. Uh, so let's see, eight. How soon be? There's a four. Where should I add V? Hmm. <laughs> Little babby fay, maybe. I, sh I say babby fay, but V is not exactly a babby anymore. God, I'm old. Okay. How deep do I want this to be? About there, maybe? That seems about right to me. About four deep. Oh, 
I'm trying to remember because I'm. I can't call it. Let's have a quick check here. Zero. Okay, yeah, that's fine. He says, hi, asked if I was still at the cold place. Now we're having an awkward conversation about how I don't live on an icy planet. I mean, I'm still in New Millennia. <laughs> That's still going. Oh, thank you for that gift, Dusty. Okay, that should... Let me refresh the model over here. That should mean that we now get... The beginnings of a cowling at the top there. Been quite hot over there. Over here, yeah, in the UK. It, we've had a heat wave recently. Which is bizarre. I swear we didn't used to have those. Not so frequently, anyways. Years apart, maybe. Yeah, let me see. In New Millennia, we're currently building a huge drill. And on Dungeon Maker, we, re we, we are... Well, the next episode of Dungeon Maker, we're building a lighthouse, a gunpowder store, and unleashing foxes by the dozens <laughs> upon the island. So our bright and colorful mushroom island is getting a lot of foxes. Okay, can barely make it out, but yep, there it is. And it probably wants to be a bit more than that, might make that 0.5. 0.5 is the, the sort of like default standard for uh, like your headwear layer. Invasive species imported species. There was literally one form of life on the mushroom island when I got there. That was mushrooms. Now we have foxes, we have sheep, we have cows, we have chickens for the moment at least. Uh, we have llamas. We have a fair few llamas. We have pigs. A couple of pigs. Okay, while we're here, let's add this to the arms as well. Yeah, let's ship those out. Okay, so same diff essentially over here. We just want to more or less copy the offsets, but just have four pixels tall as opposed to 12. And same. Scalings, there we go. Won't they kill the chickens? Oh yes! <laughs> I have found so much raw chicken just lying around the island already. circle of life it more or less is actually because i had like a sort of chicken cooker or a, 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 a widespread like chicken burrito while i was training at one of my uh butchers which is my main source of like food um i guess technically speaking as long as you've got a bowl on a mushroom island you've always got food but it's not great um but then that machine well then my fisherman by the docks wandered into that enclosure so i had to break it to get him out and then they just spewed so if anything, the foxes are population control. <laughs> I had a fox island where the foxes slowly went to the ocean for the fish. Oh yeah, experiencing that as well. <laughs> Very entertaining. Haven't gonna see a building block stream in ages, but you were confused as to why you saw your name in the Discord yesterday. Ah, uh, for the exact reason I'm just naming, actually. All of the fo well, the vast majority at the very least of the foxes, all of the tamed foxes on uh, the Dungeon Maker Island, which is at yet unnamed, uh, are named after patrons. It's a brand new feature we're trying.
Okay. Little, uh, little over the shoulder builder holder action right there. But that's looking better, I think. This is purely modeling, bear in mind. This is not full texture at the slightest bit. Hmm? What's up, Dusty? I can never guess with you. They look nice. Lies. Lies and deceit. <sighs> oh yeah, if people uh, enjoyed my like Witch in the Woods series from way back when, here's here's a slight spoiler for like ominous foreshadowing. Um, Dungeon Maker is going in a similar fashion. <laughs> We used to make dungeons, but now <laughs> we're going very, very, very evil on that one. That's gonna be interesting. Okay. Yeah. Hint. It started with the villagers trying to flee back into the sea. Happy little coincidence of a bug there. Okay, so that gives us some distinction on the upper body. Now we've already said that we will be adding the dual horns, but we're going to be doing that as a layer. I feel a bit bad for trolling that series so hard, unfortunately. But hey, you gave me the greatest like jumping off points into insanity. That was fun. But yeah, we're gonna be doing like the double horns. So the antlers and then the curved ram horns. We're gonna be, we're gonna be adding those as a separate model in a layer, so that they can glow in the dark separately from the rest of the body. Hey, lads. Oh, well. Uh, do we want to make the mutton chops their own thing? <laughs> hmm. I don't think we should model mutton chops. But we gotta have the mutton chops. They're just legendary. Oh, the pencil incident? Yeah, the pencil incident that locked me entirely in the well. <laughs> I remember that. That was what locked me in the well. Hmm. <laughs> to be clear, there was a few occasions where I got stuck in the well. Uh, let's... Hmm. We could add pointed ears. That's a possibility. Hmm. Let's have a look at our list here. So we've got the hooves. Uh, those will be added with a layer. The third eye is going to be a layer. Do we just want the mutton chop? Do do we want the mutton chops to do just to be to be just like texture? Hmm. Because the, the, the patrons, especially the Archfey, are creatures that we are allowed to go pretty wild on in terms of, like, model complexity. We try to stay fairly close to uh, vanilla Minecraft for most of our models, but the Archfey, they're very well, like, deserving of high-quality model. Hmm. Yeah, also, those, those open blocks pencils were dirt cheap. It was ridiculous. <laughs> Like, you had to have a specific, like, helmet item on to be able to detect them. And if you didn't have that, they were basically invisible and completely indestructible. And they were dirt cheap. It was ridiculous. <laughs> Oof, that old look. This, this image right here... It reminds me of a very specific scene from the Justice League movie, where like where like where the Flash is like, uh, where I think where they're fighting like resurrected evil Superman, and then, like the Flash is like just like chunk tump. I feel like uh, Lightning Mage Karen Dave and uh, the Flash probably have a fair bit in common in that regard. That's your official character icon at Google? Wow, grats. Even ops couldn't touch them. Yeah, they were ridiculous. <laughs> Utterly absurd. Oh yes, we are we are doing a little bit of goat face. 
<laughs> with this, at the very least. We are definitely having that nose. Right, yeah, I think we'll leave that. We'll leave the head for the moment, so that means we're now moving on to the tail! Because all good Kirins must have a tail. Uh, and let's have a look at some tail we already have. The stream's already company? Oh, good to know. Goat lad, goat lad, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we've, al we've already got, like, fawn, uh, like, fawn hooves. We might as well have the goat nose. Plus, I feel like goat nose into mouth into mutton chops is a great combination. Very elegant and smooth. Almost gives a, a visual, like, implication of a smile or something. Which makes him look friendly. Concept deer tail, like the small one? Hmm. Now, if you do that improperly in Minecraft, that just ends up looking like poop. Literally, like poop. <laughs> Guess you could say patron Kirin is a fair ram? Exactly! <laughs> Meeting? Okay. Catch you later, Karen. I- there will be, uh, un- <laughs> there will undoubtedly be more, uh, pictures on Twitter, so feel free to check that out. Okay, we have to more or less look away from the witch and then keep turning back to get them to turn into the one specific costume that I'm looking for here. And they tend to go back to the human one, which I say human, but if you were watching this stream earlier, like way earlier, you know exactly what's what's going on with this particular human costume, which is that in addition to the foxy ears that we have up here, which links back to that fox disguise, um, this mouth that occasionally smiles, occasionally smiles very widely. <laughs> Anyways, looking back away. How many forest animals can you mix into one Kieran Dave? Stay tuned to find out. I mean, they're the Fae of the Forests. Makes sense. Did I get inspiration for Yog Dwarves from Dwarf Fortress? Uh, no, actually. I got inspiration for Yog Dwarves from Diggy Diggy Hole, the animated music video, way back when. There's a way better one these days by Winrose, but no one. Okay, this is the Crone costume. Which is very similar to the, uh, very similar to the human costume. It looks way more disheveled. This is essentially just, like, witch out of the well. No, like, limited power at best. And a fun fact, it looks, that's the symbol for, for like, Venus back there. It looks like the, the female symbol, as we know it modernly. But that is, in the context of various entities, that is the, the, uh, out of the arcane symbol for, uh, trickery. So that should be a big red flag if you see that anywhere. Harry, I thought you got inspiration for young dwarves from well dwarves. I mean that too, obviously. I love dwarves. Dwarves are like my favorite fantasy race. Because there's so much This is gonna sound like a terrible pun, but I promise it's not. When you when it comes to dwarves, there is so much depth. Ah, <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay. So that's the tale that we have on the sort of xenomorphy queen costume. We want to have something like that, but with a floofy kind of tail at the end, sort of similar to our trolls. And uh, definitely wavy and wiggly, but not quite to this extent. But yeah, there's... That's, that's, that's a look and a half. <laughs> Don't talk to me or my son ever again. Well, don't, don't talk to me or my non-binary child ever again, I guess I should say. That tail animation, yeah, it's not really, it doesn't, it's not a very smart one, but it works. It's sufficient. Like the, uh, the kobolds have tail animation as well. Just, it just adds a little thing of even understanding still, it's nice. So, okay, let's see if we can get a troll of the correct tape. I 
think that's right. There we are. Okay, didn't make him didn't make him silent. And the trolls are one of those one of the oddities that's actually voiced by me. So there's that. So yeah, something a bit more like that at the back, I think. That that makes a lot of sense to me for uh, the Kirin. So let's check our model for trolls and see if we can't just import that wholesale for the time being at least. Real quick. <laughs> Fun fact, Dave was just saying that they were, uh, sorry for trolling me. We're now literally adding a troll to hell. <laughs> Welp. Ever played with Dwarf Fortress? I tried. Um, the trouble for me was I had a lot of trouble parsing what was happening on the screen because it was all ASCII text and such, and blinking lights and whatnot. It would, it, 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 I, I just could not parse it through my head. Um, that said, though, they are currently working on uh, releasing a Steam version of Dwarf Fortress that includes full actual, like, texturing and tiling and such. I understand there are, like, texture packs you could put for e existing Dwarf Fortress, but I never got around to figuring that out. Um, so it's gonna be interesting to see how that goes. I'll be very excited to, to, like, give that a shot. Okay. So there's that. Uh, the rotation point. Let's have a look and see where that ends up for us here. So that is 0, 12, and 4. So that ends up over there. Uh, let's shuffle that forward a little bit to about three or two, maybe. Yeah, maybe even two. Let's make that two. Wherever this root tail piece is will determine where the whole tail is. And then let's open up a rotation angles piece so that we can just animate the tail as well. So that should give our Kirin a tail. Let's see. What does parse mean? Oh, um, comprehend, understand. It's like when you read a sentence and understand what it's telling you, that's to, that's to parse. Whereas if you read a language in, say, Aramaic, <laughs> you, you probably won't parse that. Statistically, few people will understand that. Like, I probably couldn't read Hebrew and parse it, but I can read English and parse it. I, mean, I would be able to parse most of German. That sort of thing. That's what that means. Sorry, that's a very programmery kind of term. <laughs> there's, literally, uh, there's literally systems called parsers in programming, which means to interpret a language. Okay, how are we doing? Huh? Now that is poking through the coattail, but I think that's actually okay. <laughs> and we got our fluffy end. We could make it longer. Could make the points uh, of this longer. <laughs> what do we think, everybody? Are we getting close? <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, uh, troll, you can go away now. Uh, I was interested in reading your film where you studied Lisp. Oh god! <laughs> to, uh, to say I studied Lisp would be maybe an exaggeration. Could be a little longer, but looking cool. Yeah, I think we're getting there. Maybe, maybe it grows, like, an inch for every, like, century the Kirin's been alive or something. <laughs> Can you imagine newborn Kirin with a tiny little nubtail and it just grows? <laughs> a little nubtail, but it is exactly as, like, fluffy as it is as a, as a full-blown adult. It starts looking like a bunny to begin with, maybe. <laughs> hmm. 
Anyways. So yeah, let's try and uh, elongate this, which we should be able to do fairly easily. In fact, let's get a... There's that as an example. Let's also have a look at what Kirin's look like. So there's the Kirin from Monster Hunter World. Well, I'll say the Kirin, it's a Kirin. Which are mostly just horses, so it's not really representative. Uh, there's Kirin's from Magic the Gathering. So it's almost horse-like in a lot of indications. That's more the kind of style we're looking for. Yeah, that's, admittedly, it's understandable why they went with Scaly Horse, because there, there's very, there's a very close proximal between Kirin's and uh, dragons as well as like horses. Dusty, thank you again for that uh, additional gifted sub. Thank you very much. Yeah, interesting, interesting, and in, that's that's an interesting thing to see. I slightly wish they'd done that on the actual series. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we can also type keel in. Which is more or less just a different time, just a different uh, writing of it, but it gets you very different very different results. So yeah, we definitely want, I think we do want it longer and then fluff just at the right end. Oh, and there we go, we're changing things again. Okay. Right. Now to fix that up, we just need to make this a bit longer, right there. And from there, uh, I think 2.5 currently gets us to uh, plus one F times tail position. This is meant to be a generative thing, so it's uh, it builds up over time. It's a little little hard. Uh, but the Y value there actually is what makes it long. So let's just change that to a six. Change that to a six. Let's see what we get. You can also add more segments by just changing that number right there. I don't think we have enough pixels to, uh... Well, it, hmm. We could add more pixels by making the head a much larger box and scaling it down. But that would make it stick out like a sore thumb amongst all the other mobs. So I prefer to stick with the 8x8s eight that players use and such. Uh, but yeah, we probably don't have enough pixels to make like very detailed eyes. Uh, so we can't necessarily have goat eyes. But we can have like dark... Uh, like black sclera and blue eyes, or the inverse in theory, which I would prefer. Okay, that's a dart. We can see there are longer pieces there. So I just need to adjust the rotation point. With a tail changed based on moon cycle, kind of like how slime spawns change. Um, we'd need to synchronize that across client and server. I don't know if moon... Presumably moon cycle is a thing you can access because you render it differently. Um, the great question is why? <laughs> the Kirin's not the, the, not the fae of the moon. One thing that'd be really nice to do is... Um, I, I would need to have a look at how Famcraft did its rendering, because lord knows I'm terrible at rendering. Um, but it, it'd be nice if, like, if there was a storm going on, that uh, they would have, like, little arcs of lightning coming off them. Why not? Because it gives the players more to parse, and when you're not giving them actual, like, text and main, like, fully defined interactions to do so, uh... Players ha it can gradually have trouble parsing what one if something is. Okay, that's probably a bit long, a bit too long, I think. Maybe take that down a segment.
That looks a bit more like exaggerated monkey tail to me. Which, we do have monkeys. There is that. But I think having this one be where it ends maybe should be about it. But yeah, you want, especially with like the way that this is approached, you want players to be able to look at something and get a decent handle on what it is. Um, but the more details you add in, the harder that gets to be. That should mean it's still connected. Don't like the the gap near the end of the wag. That's fine. We're that that's an error. We're changing that. We probably will have room for a uh, creature that has, like, detached floating body parts and such at some point in the future, but it is not this one. God, could you imagine, like, we install this on a server, we also install, like, uh, what's it called? Body... Uh, more player models, that was the one? Or even just, like, uh, warp, was it, or something? I can't remember. Morph, that was it. Imagine installing this and more player models or, like, morph onto a server, and Dave actually comes back from retirement <laughs> to, uh, make a Minecraft series as this creature. That'd be sweet. So there we go, that's, that's better. And then we just enhance the floof. Like, Dave, Dave makes a series disguised entirely as this creature, and I make a series disguised entirely as the witch. Imagine that. God, that could be epic, honestly. More play models will definitely be better than Mulf, yeah, I guess. Has limits, but yeah. Okay. Floof enhanced, let's see how that looks. You watch it in a heartbeat? I mean, my fan base would watch that in, an, in like, a picosecond. My fan base would watch that so hard, so quick, it would need, we'd need to redefine, like, our physical understanding of the shortest span of time. Various Oddities lore series? Ooh. That's an idea, actually. Hmm. There we go. So, longer floof. Maybe add like a line along these ones as well. Just like a 2D texture along that. Because, yeah, just if nothing else to distinguish it more from the trolls. Yeah, I think this is looking good. Hmm. You'd kill to watch a lore series, especially focusing on the patrons. Yeah, it'd be interesting. I'll give you that. <laughs> the trick is making mobs behave. <laughs> like, make, like the, you, you know how they say never work with uh, children or animals in, in, in like, filmmaking? Um, mobs are the equivalent of both. <laughs> Getting mobs to do stuff is annoying as hell. But having mobs that are specifically programmed and modeled for your exact purposes is... Will Kirin be tall? Kirin is already tall. Alright, let me... Kirin is already tall. <laughs> <laughs> Could
could theoretically make them taller. But Kirin is already tall. <laughs> you're expecting taller? I mean, pretty much no matter what, you're looking up. Like, what's my angle here? Negative six, negative eight. Yeah, that's... Like, we don't really want them to be Enderman tall. Which is about that tall, right there. But... In fact, let's just... Yeah, we don't want them to be that tall, but pretty tall. Having to crane your head to look him in the eyes. I don't think we want to be going that big. Plus, bear in mind, this is like the archway of the forests. It has to be able to walk through them. If it's taller than that, it's going to have a lot of trouble. Yeah, that's what we got so far. My, my mouse is... Misbehaving a lot today, James. What's going on with you? Okay. So let's add a little more detail to the tail. Add a little more detail. Disable the tail. Done. Horns will probably add enough height to get that intimidation factor up. Yeah, that too. Okay, add a box. Ha! Uh, let's see. Zero. Just trying to figure out how to work this. The width wants to be zero, the height wants to be three, the depth wants to be uh, about five. Let's just see how that looks. Initial guess is bad, but let's find out. This is the problem with adding with adding detail to generate it. Uh, content here is that you need to. You, you, it's easiest to add content to stuff that all you can see, but you don't see this until it's already too late to add stuff to it. Okay, that's about the right place, but obviously it's the wrong depth, so... Need to swap those values, and that should make it the right way. I do remember these are generated vertically. Imagine being able to load a mod that back. I mean, Farron, this is one mod. This is one mod. It's a relatively beefy mod these days, but it's one mod, not a mod pack. Mod packs, especially when they have several hundred mod mods. Oh yeah. I can curve that down to two, but for right now, let's just see how it looks. Okay, that's better. That's better. Obviously it needs to be lower, but that's better, at least. So if we reduce that to, say, two, maybe even to one, but that should be good. And then we add the same to the fluff at the end over, over here. Now it should be just about good. Okay. 
And then we're into the animation step. Well, then we're into... To, texturing takes way too long to do on stream. I have learned that very much the hard way. Uh, we can try and work out some animation, for sure. So we want to make sure the coat tail, and ideally also the tail, uh, never collide with the legs. And we need to make sure that the legs don't just flip out whenever they're moving forwards and such. And modeling of the uh, horns is going to take forever. <laughs> but it's mostly good. It's just like we're gonna have to. We can't. We can't freeform model that. Yeah, there we go. That looks good. Okay, obviously needs like texture, but that looks good. I like that. Okay. That's a good look. So it just needs animation and texturing now. Uh, so let's just get rid of this Enderman. Whoop. <laughs> right, yes, of course. Hey there. Let's see how you look. Or how you move, as the case may be. Why is magenta and the black the default color for coding models in? Uh, it's just what happens when there's no texture. Yeah, the legs aren't actually that bad. Hmm. Yeah, those, those legs don't look too bad, actually. Of course, that's when it's just wandering around normally. We get ourselves a lead. And we can get more, uh, drastic examples. Hmm. Yeah, I think, yeah, it's not that bad, actually. Why is he crab walking? Oh, it's just uh, an artifact of how Minecraft animates stuff, basically. Yeah, we need to have the coat tail move back whenever the legs are going back. But otherwise... Mm. No, like, I don't know. Uh, okay, if you want to know specifically why it's black and purple, I have no idea. You'd have to go very far back into computer history to figure that one out. All I know is, it just is. But okay, so, let's get to the animation side of things. So we've got our coat tail right there. Its default value there is 25.5. Min, I think this will be. Should by itself just mean that there is always 25.5 from all the from uh, all of the legs. We'll see. I keep hearing weird noises. I have no idea where that's coming from. Where fuzzes up to something. Apparently, it's just so it's very noticeable. I mean, yeah, that would be the obvious. High contrast, rarely used. Makes sense. us being sneaky again. Hmm. Okay, let's see what we got here. Yeah, do we wanna do do we think we need the 
Okay, that is definitely wrong. Because it's moving forwards instead of back. <laughs> so we want max. It's Keo. <laughs> Imagine. Yeah, do we think we need to animate the legs? Because honestly, they look kind of okay right now. We absolutely could animate the legs. But I don't know that we actually need to. <laughs> look fine, look good as it is. Yeah. Especially and, and especially with like the horns and the eyes and such coming up, that's gonna be fine. Why does that fixed it? Or, or am I forgetting more? Okay, I need to see you walking from behind, sir. Ma'am. Person. Yeah, I think that works fine. Perfect. <clears throat> so, what is the next detail? If we don't think we go we're going to actually need to remote like uh like animate the legs. As cool as that might look. Then I guess I can do block texturing. Hmm. Nya hands? Like nya? Okay, could you follow me over here? Thank you. This is this is probably the most undignified thing I've ever done. I've just <laughs> I've just leashed a lord of uh, forests and thunder to a, to a uh, fence. <laughs> oh well, it's probably fine and not going to result in me being cursed by the fae. Probably. Yeah, looking quite nice, I say. Okay. <clears throat> so let's run down our list here. So, mutton chops is a texture piece. Uh, two of the eyes are just going to be on texture. The third eye is another layer. Let's put that into our list. Will they be leashable when you get them into the mod, or will you change the coding? I can just do that because I'm in creative mode. If you're in creative mode, you can leash just about anything. At least in 112. They might have changed that in more recent versions. Uh, horns and antlers. Yep, got that in our listing. That requires an extra model. Carried off prints of your pack, and you just like no and leave them into the ocean. <laughs> oh. Uh, we have the tail with the fluffy dip. Uh, we have the hooves. Although we ended up referencing the kobolds more than the uh, wargs. Actually, we, we ended up referencing the changelings more than either of them. Put Kirin into a whale. Uh, <laughs> that was an idea. That's a weird... Like, I, I already have plans to put, like, traders and such. Like, rare and valuable traders inside of there, but... Hmm. in a whale, what crimes will they commit? I don't know. But I will catch you back in about 10 minutes, everybody.
And welcome back, everybody, to the final hour of our stream for the evening. So, just to show off the progress we've had, our uh, Kieran now has uh, a coattail that is actually animated, so it's never clipping into their legs too much. They have uh, fawn-like legs, so they're very, like, hooved and, like, thick. And then they have a long and fluffy tail uh, with a nice little ridge going on the back of it, so it should come across quite nicely, as well as a palette and, like, a cowl and as such. So let's see if we can't figure out what to do next. I think the next thing to do is actually map the texture. And uh, apologies, Dave, for the uh, somewhat... unfortunate means of keeping you in check here. So, yep, there we are. We decided against fully animating the legs, so they don't, like, compress when they go forwards and backwards. Uh, but the tail is still nonetheless there. Looks pretty good, I think. That... I don't think that was you making that noise, but okay, I don't know why I just heard... I don't know, I don't otherwise know why I just heard a, uh, villager. I can't reason why I heard that from way over there. Anyways. Yeah, I've got to be hearing that from over here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm going to chew on the lead. Go ahead. Gnaw on the rope. Be free. <laughs> but yep, so there's our tail. Little bit, it's very similar to what we've got going for trolls, but it's uh, been lengthened and, exa and like exaggerated and given this little like hair ridge at the back as well, which should give it a nice little bit more detail. Tempted to do more of the arms, but I think that'll take you a little way too far away from humanoid. But, okay, so, next job. Map it. <laughs> Lord Spaghetti, yeah. A little bit. So, okay. Let's get some mappings together. So that should be fine for there. And I can probably keep the arm, torso, that one. Those those are all fine, I think. So let's just bloop, pull apart what the texture maps are for those. Body is at 16 and 16. Uh, the right arm is at 40 and 16. Okay, that puts that there. And then the legs, we don't have to worry about too much because we have our own proprietary legs down here. Okay, so let's... Uh, where was the body? 16 and 16? Yeah. So put that there. I do think we can, like, shorten this. And then scale that up. We'll give that a shot, see how that looks at the very least. Kieran with pool noodles on the horns like farmers do with their goats. I haven't seen that, but now I kind of want to. Hmm. So, okay, the coattail is at 16 and 32. So let's just add the set texture in here. Okay. Uh, we'll keep where the tail is for right now, because that's drawn from the troll code, and hopefully that'll be fine. Uh, so now we want the palettes. Which would make the most sense to go... Uh, oh, I can get rid of that. That's, just what, that's the tail group right there. So yeah, all this mess up here... i just drive it that you can see better. All this mess up there is in fact derived from just the legs. Just the legs. Let's shift that down to there. So, 58. Won't be staying there. Keep it there for the time being. 
Ah, uh, and the pallets aren't in here, so let's just quickly create them and shift them. So 0 and 32 for the left. And then for the right. Uh, there's some scaling here up here. 40. And 32. This is going to make Karen look very strange, but don't worry about it. And then there's the body, which is obviously significantly larger. So 16 and 45 for the body. Maybe tell you aware of a burst star for nose fake cannot perceive styrofoams. <laughs> yeah. It's like it's like the uh it's like the opposite of silver or like raw or uh, cold iron. It's like they know something's there, but it's just like so invisible to them. Okay, fifty-three. Zero and fifty-three for the phi. We have the theoretical space to separate the textures for this and make them uh, make each leg potentially uh, uh, potentially individual, but it's not really a priority. Okay, and the ankle. It would also work better here if we actually like modeled these vertically. So instead of this being 227, it'd be 272, and then we rotate it 90 degrees, but it's fine. That saves us more, that saves, that potentially saves you a fair bit of uh, texture map space, which then reduces the amount of information you have to load up to render a creature. Which can add up quite badly, but here it's probably fine. Okay, and then there's the foot with the hoovesies at 75. Okay, so then the only thing here that the only thing that is not accounted for here is the tail. So let's let's see two, six, two. And where is it currently mapped to? 24 and 34, which puts it right there in the middle of the coattail. Actually, that's in the cowling, I think. No, no, that is the... That is the coattail, yes. The cowling is below that. So 0 and 32... No, that's going to be part of the... That's going to be part of the pallets. Okay. Uh, put it to the legs, next to the legs. Twenty-six and fifty-three. Where <laughs> already wrote the book on goat facts, so why not fey facts? True. Hope there'll be an Easter egg where goat-legged character models play Torgo's theme from Mano Sands of Fate. <laughs> Oh lord, no one would get that, but wow. I did, there was a plan, Dave, you missed it a little bit, but we, we initially planned potentially having uh, the, the, the patron Kieran being uh, Tauric, so more like a centaur than a fawn, as we have here, um, and then you would absolutely be able to, like, admin in probably a saddle onto them and just, like, ride them. Just, well, just be carried by them, I suppose would be exact, the exact phrase, but uh, decided against that for, like, significant problems. 
but that would have been entertaining, certainly. Okay, so there's the fuzzy bit. Hmm. Just having a look through the troll here code to see. Let's see. So that's twenty four thirty four, and then the make tail segment also points twenty four thirty four, which means the Kirin one should point to the same parts as the root, which is twenty six fifty three. Okay, that's good. Get Kirin to voice goat noises for when Kirin gets babs. <laughs> In their arms, or uh, oh, like a saddle. Yes, like like a saddle, but you don't have like, mm, like like riding a like 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 riding a llama. I guess you can put saddles on llamas, and well, actually, you don't even, you don't even need to put a saddle on a llama, but you can ride a llama, but you can't control them in any fashion. I would be carried off in the arms of a benevolent yet frightfully dangerous fey lord. Hmm. Remind me to make Starfall one of their boss attacks. Okay, so 373 is the fluff. Which I think can go at 26 and 63. And then there is just the matter of these pieces, which are two dimensional and kind of a pain as a consequence. Never ending story 4. Wow. Step into a fairy ring and get carried off by Kiri. Fae <laughs> uh, presence. I step into the fairy. Uh, Fae presence. Pact made. I am forcibly escorted from the fairy ring. <laughs> okay, so zero five two. We should do. Uh, this is such a pain of an avalanche here. Okay. Uh, what are they? 262. 26. 53. I regret choosing the largest possible texture binding right now. And let's have those as separate so we can actually have them distinct as well. The forest is full of free followers. You just walk through with your Twitter app open. Okay, so. This one, which is the longer one. 34, 53. And that one, which is the shorter one. Uh, which is 2 and 2. Just basically just two pixels, but it's fine. 5460. And let's add in the fluff while we're here. Which is 373. And positioned at what was it, 26 and 63. Oh, it needs to actually needs to be lower. 26 and 64. <laughs> Get verified on Twitter for a small deal with the Fey. I mean, what is like the the Twitter leadership but Fey entities <laughs> with strange and twisted priorities? <laughs> Okay, what do I have floating up there? Is that the... That's apparently a foot. Hmm. Hmm. 
Jack is not that cool. Eh, you're not wrong. Yeah. Okay, so then the pellets are on either side. Let's just chuck those in. And then we can export this, the presuming Techni wants to work properly today. So that should be the full map, right up there. Export, texture map. <laughs> pay, pay no, pay, pay no attention to Quasimodo Kirin over here. Uh, what I call this one? Yeah, region. Current base. Okay, that will be very wildly incorrect scaling, but gives us something to work with. Oh, that's the wrong program to be using. Hang on. There we go. Where are you much better programmed to be to be using? Glimpse, there you are. <laughs> Even the Fae need to help flatten the curve. Glimpse, if you were wondering, is essentially a fork of the other thing, um, but with a much less problematic name, much better development, and generally less douchebag at developers. <laughs> Would recommend. Hmm, nice background. Well, thank you. Player That's has joined from Spring the game. Realms way back in the day. Okay. So that's. All of the textures required, but we obviously want to rescale this because 256 is way too big. Let's see, 128 would fine. Let's go 128. Okay, yep, a little extra space, you know, for a treat. UX is evolving a lot faster. Yes, so much, <laughs> so much faster. Okay, so now we just need to tell this what size we are, and then I think because model bipeds already generated its parts, we actually need to tell it a little bit more. There you are, yep. So 0f, 0f, 6428. Or, yeah, 6428. Might suffice, actually. Yeah. Okay. Karen's about to look weird, everybody. Very, very weird. Yeah, fair, about to. This is before we've added the floating third eye that constantly looks at you, or the glow-in-the-dark horns made of lightning. <laughs> 
Okay, do we see any problems? That's the first question. Uh... Mm. Oh, the, uh, the coat tail is off. On the model. Because we reduced the size, we didn't actually change that. But the actual, like, change appears to be... Yeah, good. Positive. Grand. Extra special glow in the dark edition, Kieran. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, that. Otherwise, I think looks good. So let's just have a poke in that skull, shall we? Yep, there's two layers in here. Very good. Weird, it's empty in there. Okay, let's reboot and hopefully get that coattail fixed up. Funko, Kieran, Wh Kieran and Witch when? Over my dead body. In order to get, like, Funko Pop, you know, the troll gift, can you get custom Funkos <laughs> like that? Can you get a- can you somehow obtain a Funko Witch? Because firstly, I'd be impressed. Secondly, I will hunt you down and reduce you to ash. But still. <laughs> I do actually have a couple of Funko Pops, mostly- mostly at the ones that I've been being- uh, that I've been given. I have a Funko- uh, Xenomorph down there. I need to get like a Funko Queen just to complete the set. They have blank Funkos for customizing, but you can't model them though. You could paint them to look like- you, like you, you could apply a witch skin, but you can't apply a witch model. Okay, yeah, that looks good. I don't like this ridge at the front though. Might want to shuffle that back a bit. But otherwise that does look good. That, uh, the Z fighting that's happening over here is normal, we don't need to worry about that. What is the status with the whole lying verse? Playing any content with it? Currently, in fact. <laughs> there is lying verse content going on with Dungeon Maker. It's just in early episodes this season, so it's a little hard to spot. 3D printing is a thing? You're not wrong. We do have uh, Voxel the Foxel. It was 3D printed for us a while back by Moggy. We also have uh, the finale for Haunting, which I still need to get back onto, because this last few months have been wild, to say the least, but that is very close to being done. Yeah, I think that's good. So we just, we just want to shift the coattail back a little bit, which shouldn't be too difficult. We just have to change the offset point, and I think that'll be in the negatives. So I just reduce that by like 1 or 0.5, and that should be enough. Still posting that stuff on YouTube? Yes. <laughs> I have yet to find a decent platform to ditch YouTube for. <laughs> and a way to do so that wouldn't just nuke my entire, like, community, I guess. <laughs> hmm. Never get notifications from your channel anymore? Don't know why? Hit the bell. It's stupid as hell, but hit the bell. <laughs> You did? Yeah. Also, no, deplete, kind, kindly please do not uh, use that word here. That particular word it, uh, relates back to the autistic screaming meme and autistic. <laughs> not a fan of it. Okay, let's see if we fix that coattail. But yeah, YouTube sucks at notifying anyone of anything. If you subscribe or hit the bell, but it does- it is marginally better if you actually hit the bell. Oh, that's the opposite direction. Okay. Uh, coattail, coattail, where are you? There you are. During this comment, there's an Amazon's channel for the video uploads. Indeed, there is. Yes. Mubot has been posting that, uh, quite frequently in this chat right now, so... 
check it out. You can also go to my channel and check the uh, video descriptions. A link to the Discord is in there. Hey, Cam. Wait, what am I saying hey, Cam, for? You've been here a while, but now you're scrimming. Why Why you scrim, Cam? <laughs> What's, enter what's entertaining is that if you look at your video stats on YouTube, it actually does tell you how many people received a notification for it. <laughs> Bearing in mind, I have like four and a four and some odd like thousand subscribers. It's usually in the hundreds. <laughs> Scram cam. It's just like, um, oh, what, what what are they game? What what are they named? Like the the cameras at the end of like cables. It's just one of those, just like, inserted down someone's throat. Okay, that's a bit much, but that is the right direction. Okay, we're close. We've nearly got this perfected. Just reduce that to 0.5 and it should be fine. God, what is the name of those fingers now? Hmm, no. Gone completely out of my head. <laughs> Sing along for work tomorrow? You nearly forgot us Wednesday's normally a day off. Oh dear. Apologies for the loss of your day off. Is not a sigmoidoscope, that's for sure. What is it? Endoscope! There we are. You you do not want to know what terms I just googled to find out that it's an endoscope. Okay, not pushing through the front. Kind of pushing through the back, but that's about as far as we can go before it gets really off. So I think we'll leave it there. Put a nice tail at the back there, maybe. Okay. Let's add some semi-meaningful colors to this and get rid of the parts we don't need. So... Whoop. So this is the coat tail, so we don't need the purple part of it, nor do we need the uh, light green. Get rid of those. That will make it solid on the top, on the sides, and the back, but not the front or the bottom. Uh, we also don't really need the sides, well, one of the sides at the very least, on the palettes, but I can never figure out which one I need. I think that one and that one? We'll know if it's wrong immediately, so there's that. Uh, and we don't want the bottom on that one either. I should probably switch these around because it's kind of confusing to have uh, a palette thing. Like, those those things are all at the same level on the model. They should really ideally be at the same level in the texture. But. Okay, sera, sera. Uh Okay, and let's. Do I want the dark one or the red one? Well, the bright one. Hmm, good. Dark for right now. I think that'll alter how it renders, but we'll see. We'll see. We're gonna be fairly dark, really. Damn, now I'm trying to figure out what coloring we should make the tail. Uh, what, what, how do most people color the tail? There's this, which has a gradient in it, which means I would need to have at least one more cut texturing for it. Hmm. Is there more? There's that, which is a very different design. That's very Monster Dave right there. Predictably, that's by Bamboo. <laughs> Long-time viewers of my channel will know that Bamboo is... ...really scarily good at making monstrous monstrous people. I don't recognize this, but that's very nice. That's a douchebag, but that's very nice. Like, look at that, that's cuddly as hell. Wow. <laughs> Okay, there's there's a decently simplistic example. Hmm. So just saw the blue with the white. Well, we'll probably make ours more of a blondish kind of color. 
Hmm. More bamboo, naturally. Oh yes, love the love Yelk's cast. All the all of these well-known members of the Yelk's cast, right there. God, this was such a this was such a pivotal piece of artwork. If it wasn't for more or less this piece of artwork, I wouldn't be associated with foxes. <laughs> Blame B for that. Anyways. Uh, so let's get rid of... I think for this it's that. And let's just add a little bit of edging at the top here. <clears throat> just to give us an idea of what goes where. Okay, I'll write that. Refresh. And have a look. Not heard from Dave in a while, what they're about to? Ah, I mean, they've been in chat. <laughs> they work at Google. So, they're pretty busy. But now they stop by before a meeting and then during coffee break as well. They what? Didn't you... Did you not know this, Dusty? Dave is a dramatically better programmer than I am. Okay, that looks fine there on the tail. Good. How about over here? Yep, looks good on the coat. And yeah, we got the sides wrong. Right, yes, they're mirrored. <laughs> Of course. So it's the same side on both of them. And that side appears to be... Uh, oh, actually no, I got. I think I just got it wrong on the one. Hmm. So bright red for the left. Dark red, the one that has... Oh boy, it's gonna be annoying. Okay, dark red survived over here. Did not survive over here. But we can see dark red on one, which means it's not that one. So the bright red needs to be here. I think. <laughs> the great thing about textures is uh, once you've got them, you can pretty much just Export, refresh, and then F3 and T. Oh, I got it wrong on both ends now. <laughs> Great. I went from only having it wrong on both sides to having it right to, uh, only having it wrong on one side to both. Oh, for Pete's sake. Kieran, have you ever worn a, a like a cloak of any kind? A cowl? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. But if we go inside, we should see that there's no other side to it. 
Yes, looks good. Grand. And then up here, let's also get rid of the face. Well, the front part of the face, because we're going to have ourselves a nice little hood, or... Might actually be... I'm, I'm, I'm going... I'm, my head's gone back to how we're going to add the, uh... The button jobs. It's not a Kieran Dave without the button jobs. There we go. So, picture for yourself a say a, a like four horns of two different types around them, glowing and floating around the head, plus a third eye hovering above it that's just always staring at you and occasionally blinking. And you got Kieran Dave, the Fay of Thunder and Trees, which is a lovely. I, I I it's not quite alliterative. I like the sound of that title. The Arch Lo the Arch Fay of Thunder and Trees. <laughs> and then of course the uh the Trickster Arch Fay. Yeah, so that's good. But obviously, texturing will take way more time than we have tonight and whatnot. Uh but I will put some more like screenshots probably up as I develop the horns and the eye and whatnot. Uh, over the course of like the following week and we'll be back for more of developing the Kirin in the next stream and Meanwhile, I do have other streams during the week or so if you head over to twitch.tv slash on Thursday, we should have some uh, more Monster Hunter World and Friday at 9 We have some more Friday night beginning probably a little bit of Bioshock 2 DLC. We'll see uh we won't be having any Dungeons and Dragons for the time being because Andy's computer kind of melted. Uh, so we can't host the Dungeons and Dragons Nats streams right now. Sorry about that. They'll be back as soon as we can. Uh, but we'll have the carousel on Saturday as well as normal. And we should have more of this on Tuesday. Meanwhile, I do make videos over youtube.com slash comic. It's in the banner if that was too quick to even pronounce it. Um, and everything I do especially really right now, it is a very rough time, is over at Patreon at patreon.com slash lying, where you can support me and get some fun benefits, like uh, a named fox in Dungeon Maker, for instance, as well as behind the scenes, as well as a hand early uh, releases of videos to see. Yay. And with all that, hope you've all enjoyed, and I will, as ever, catch you all next time.